First, I must say that this video isn't meant to convince anyone to switch from C++ to C or that C is better than C++. I've programmed in C++ for over 10 years now and the entire time I've pretty much despised many aspects of it. Back when I started I didn't have much of a perspective when it comes to programming languages so I didn't know exactly what I hated or why, but at this point I've come to a decent understanding. Basically I don't like object oriented programming nor modern C++. Before I go on, I don't think either of these things are inherently bad. I'm not saying they necessarily make programs worse or that they are harder to program, just that I don't like them. To give you an example, when I was first learning C++ I came across many tutorials that went like this. Time to learn how to move the player around the screen. First we need to make our player class to represent the player. And they'd have a class with some public functions, uh, initialization and getters and setters, and some private variables. Then in a separate file they'd have the implementation of those functions. Then they'd say, but wait, we're going to want NPCs later, right? So let's make a base person class that the player and NPC classes can both inherit from. You get the idea. All I wanted was a representation of the player's position that I could move around, but instead they conceptualized the issue and end up writing loads of code to encapsulate it and make it harder to read and understand. Back in the day I didn't know why it was better to write a class with private members and getters and setters for every variable, but I took it for granted that the tutorial authors knew what they were doing. Well it's been 10 years and I still hate all that stuff, so I've decided to find out for myself what it's like to code without them. Throughout my time programming, there have been some programmers I've looked up to like John Carmack, Mike Acton, Jonathan Blow, and others. What I've found through all of them is that they don't really use modern C++ features. They code on what they call C-style C++, and go on about how much C++ sucks, and they wish they could just use C99 or another C standard. What is your rationale to use C++? Why don't you just stick with C? Okay, well, if we want to go there, <laughs> my personal preference, in, I say this in, knowing I'm at CVPCon, would be C99 for sure. Um, but, uh, the, I mean, the rationale is really culture, cultural, right? It's, it's over the, say, last 15 years that C++ has become culturally dominant. Um, and so we accept that. That's just the truth. And so we work with it. It seems to me like some of these big programmers in the industry just use C++ because that's the industry standard and it might be hard to hire enough C programmers to work on big games. Well, I'm not planning on hiring lots of programmers in the future, nor working at a big game studio, so that's not a problem for me. It's conceivable that I might end up wanting a job at a studio one day, but I think the transition from C back to C++ would be pretty easy, especially since I've used C++ a lot already. One of the big studios I would like to work at would be Valve, and they recently hired Flibberty Jabibo who says he solely uses C, so I might not even have to make the transition if that happened. I also really dislike the culture around C++. I recently started writing C++ tutorials and posted my first one to Reddit looking for criticism. Here's the most upvoted comment. Don't use Ccasts and CArray, no need for Memset, use fill with stdarray, or plain stdfill. Use chrono instead of time.h, don't use nanosleep, use std this thread sleep for, and so on. I had actually used most of these while writing the tutorial, but had switched to what is considered the C-style code, as I found it easier to understand and it seemed more efficient. However, I was entirely open to the idea that these C++-isms were superior, so I asked, why are those methods better than what I wrote? The original commenter didn't respond, but the most upvoted response is, because it's idiomatic C++ versus C-style C++. In my opinion, doing almost anything because it's idiomatic is an awful idea, and it's the very reason I found myself not knowing why I was coding getters and setters in the first place. In 2007, Linus Torvalds, creator of the Linux kernel, wrote, C++ is a horrible language. It's made more horrible by the fact that a lot of substandard programmers use it, to the point where it's much, much easier to generate total and utter crap with it. As I hope you've picked up through this video, I'm not that great a programmer. By using C++ without the knowledge of what's useful and what isn't, I think C++ features are more a minefield than a toolbox for me. One last silly little thing to mention is that I love the PlayStation 1, and recently figured out how I could write programs for it in C, but not C++. Obviously making PS1 games is not a practical thing to do these days, but it would be a dream come true to write my own game for the PS1 that people could play on their hacked PlayStations and PlayStation Classics. If you've programmed in C and C++ and have an opinion which one's better than the other, I'd love to hear about it in the comments. 
Or if you have any choice videos like the clip I shared from Mike Acton's presentation, I'd love to see that too. Cheers.